Hi guys! In this video, I will show you how to create these cornrows, infinity parade, top knot, half up hairstyle. First, I create the middle parting. It doesn't need to be super straight, cause we don't actually need this parting, but I think it makes other partings easier to draw when I can see where's the middle. Then I will create little bit curvy lines on each side of the middle parting. And after that, lots of small details to make them symmetric. Okay, then I take small slices of the circle like this and these will be for the cornrows Then I start to work the small slices First I spray some water And then I take super tiny piece of hair from the front, separate the piece in three strands, and then I start to braid, bringing strands from side under to the middle. I also add hair from the both sides, but as this braid is super tiny, I don't add hair. Every single time when I move the strands Because I have so little hair I should add very 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 small pieces at the time Because otherwise I will definitely add hair too fast And the braid will come out loose So I add hair when I'm top of the hair and once I notice that the hair will be come out a little bit further back, I stop adding and braid few stitches like this, and then I will add again when I'm on the right place and the hair comes right below the braid. I think this is the easiest, fastest, and the certain way to create the small dots braid cornrow like I'm doing here then just continue until you braided whole section inside the braid and you can make sure that the braid will reach on the place where you want the top knot Next step is create the same braid to the another side. So, pattern is exactly the same. Three strands start the braid, bring sections alternately from side under to the middle, and add hair from the both sides. But make sure that you won't add too quickly, even if the slice you braid is very small. Next, I will spray some water to the middle part and then I will create the small triangle on front. This is the section I will work next. Before that, I separate the section in two and then I start to pray the another one. Again, just that spray. Three strands and start the braid bringing strands from side under to the middle. 
add hair from the both sides. This time, when the part I'm braiding with is a little bit bigger and there's more hair to add in, I add hair every time when I bring the strand from side to under. So left under, add hair. Then the right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Then just continue braiding like this until you braided the whole section in. And after that, you need to braid until also this braid will reach easily inside the place you want the top knot. And the next step is repeat the same pattern to the another side. Again, three strands, braid like that's braid, and add hair from the both sides of the braid. Once you're braided the section in, you need to continue braiding until the braid is on the same length as three previous ones. And here you can see these accent braids. I will use this for the infinity braid. Next, I will take the small strand of hair for the infinity braid. I take it middle and then I start to spin the hair strand around these braids. So over, turn around, add hair. Then over, turn around, add hair. Over, turn around, add hair. Over. Turn around, add hair. Over, turn around, add hair. You can create this braid in the way that the braids that are inside the braid doesn't show up at all if you just remember this trait, these braids, by pulling them further off each other. So you can see me doing that while after while, like this. Then I continue braiding and tie it again when the hair strand that spins around the braids turns tighter. I can also suggest to try this type of infinity braid if you struggle with infinity braids. When you're using the braids instead of hair strands, it makes braiding much more easier when you need to worry about only one strand cause the braids will keep up their shape anyway. Continue braiding until the braid is long enough so it will reach for sure inside the top knot. Then I will put braids and small amount of hair from back together and tie them with the bubble. Then I will create the top knot. I just simply create a knot like this. Then I secure the shape little bit with the puppy pins just so that the knot won't 
undo. Then I create another knot on back. Again, secure. And then I just start the shape to make the bun look a little bit bigger and more pretty. <laughs> Use the puppy pins to secure the shape. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like, please hit the thumbs up for this video and subscribe my channel. Have a great day and happy braiding!